what's popping everybody? Sebro from here for. So the information about the Nintendo Switch and its online services and not having a virtual console and all that stuff has been out for a bit. It's not like I just found out now. I didn't make a video about it then, like a few weeks ago or some shit, only because I had other videos I had to put up and I didn't really want to just put a video like that out when I have other vi videos that are just waiting to be uploaded. So I really want to talk about this though. Basically, what we know is that uh, the service, the online service is going to cost uh, $20, $20 uh, a year for Americans, probably going to be less with pounds and euros, I guess, or maybe it's, it's going to be 20 euros for us, uh, for fuck's sake, but anyway. And the important thing that I care about is that it's been confirmed that it won't have a virtual console. It, you won't be able to just go there and purchase and download games as if you would on the Nintendo 3DS, on the PlayStation Store, you know, all that stuff. And that kind of bothers me. I mean, I do not have a Nintendo Switch yet, but of course, with the new Pokemon game that's going to be coming in 2019, Generation 8 game, I guess, and even with the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, it's still not 100% that I'm not going to be getting that game. I might get it eventually since Pokemon games are going to be coming there. And there's so many other great games anyway that I want to play on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm going to be getting that console eventually. You, you kind of have to. It's basically going to be the next 3DS anyway, the way I see it. Uh, it's going to be the next portable Nintendo system that we're going to have. So I was excited thinking, you know what? It's great because if the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch is doing very well. This, they're bringing these remastered games and other games exclusive that used to be on the Wii U and other games that are just perfect uh, portable games that are just going to bring them back from the previous generations, like that DS uh, sort of strategy uh, visual novel game, uh, The World Ends With Us, yeah, and of course Dark Souls and all these great games that are bringing over there. And I'm thinking, wow, it's going to be all these great classic games too that are going to be bringing on the virtual console, right? I mean, the Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS have some good shit. Obviously, I'm thinking hopefully they bring uh, GameCube games and shit. I, I was really my number one thing is that I want them to bring Colosseum and I want to play that shit. And hopefully they bring the Ruby, Zephyr, and Emerald games there. They bring back fucking, uh, what's it called? Mystery Dungeon games, yeah. Red Rescue Team, I want to play that again over there. And all these possibilities, I'm thinking I can't wait. Hopefully some Castlevania games, what have you. And then I find out this shit that there won't be in a virtual console. And I'm thinking, wow, fuck, that, that really sucks. And it really is shit because for people like me, I understand that cloud and this sort of technology is kind of the future. And, you know, we're moving away from optical, physical media, all that stuff. But at the same time, though, I dig just buying, if I can't get the game, like in a physical copy, uh, the next best thing for me is just to purchase the game and download it and have it online. But that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not the type of person that believes in paying for a service to play some shit and then you can't do it no more. I want to pay for something and own it. Uh, this is why I'm not the biggest fan of uh, uh, Crunchyroll, but not because of Crunchyroll and these streaming anime sites are just bad. They're great. It's just for my personal preference. And maybe because I don't watch anime all the time. If I did, then uh, yeah, those sites are, would have been great. But I digress. The point is, I don't ever see myself, unless I don't have a choice, to be digging a system like uh, a feature like PlayStation Now and cloud services like that and just basically streaming games instead of owning them, instead of buying them in some shape or form. So I'm thinking, wow, come on. Uh, it's pretty shitty too, like from money-wise. Like they must be, they're probably going to be losing money like that if they just had the kind of like an eShop, the virtual console, you know, people buying games like that. It alienates people like me. I'm probably maybe not the majority, but I don't think I'm a minority either. And it alienates people like me. I'm sure there are other people like me out there. They just want to buy their games properly. And maybe the whole backlash and people arguing and people saying, hey, that's a bad idea, you know, it, it proves that. Uh, that. That's really terrible. And I know that with the online service, 
you are going to get some classic games and they're going to be enhanced and shit. NES and then they might move to SNES games and all that stuff. That's fine and dandy, but like I've said, I don't really want to have some games for a while and then lose them kind of thing. That's just shit for me. And it goes to the other thing too. It's not 100%. I want to pay for online. I really don't uh, play online and shit. And maybe with Pokemon, it's kind of inevitable. Uh, $20 is actually super cheap a year for the Nintendo Switch. So you can just say, okay, fuck it. But it's not always 100%. I mean, with the PlayStation 4, I don't pay for online. And I don't, I'm not able to play PvP with Bloodborne and all that stuff. And yeah, I, I miss out on that. But hey, it's fair because I'm not the type of person that I always play games or I always want to play games online. So even if it's just uh, as little as four pounds a month, let's say if we divide it for the PlayStation uh, online, if you pay it the year, you get the maximum value. Even if it's just like three pounds a month, you know, it just, I might not use it. I might not use it. That's the thing. I might not always use it. And... I mean, it's the other thing, too, where I'm just not in the best financial position, too. I mean, if I was making more money, then, yeah, maybe I wouldn't give a shit. Uh, like I said, with the Nintendo Switch, it's only 20 bucks. It's just too cheap. So maybe you just say, okay, fuck it. But nevertheless, I might not want to do it, you know? So, uh, and it's the streaming thing that I've mentioned that, just streaming games instead of buying them. So I really think it's a bad idea. It just means that... My whole sort of a fantasy about maybe having finally the chance to play Colosseum on the Nintendo Switch. Since I never managed to play that game on the GameCube. Fucking hell. I always kind of have that regret. But it wasn't necessarily my fault too. Uh, my father wouldn't let me get a GameCube. <laughs> he was like, we either going to get a PlayStation 2 or nothing. So, yeah. But that's a whole different story. But yeah, it, it really sucks. I just wanted to give my two cents on that. I hope maybe they change their mind. I don't think they will. And then there's a whole thing with the uh, cell phone, Nintendo Switch app, and all that stuff. I really don't know what the hell they're going to do. You know, they always sort of try to be more innovative, kind of do something more creative, something different than everyone else. And sometimes it works out. A lot of the time it backfires. And I mean, no matter how you look at it, I just don't see why they don't want to have a virtual console there and let us buy games the way we want to. I mean, I can fucking buy the games on the PlayStation Store. So even if I don't play on, pay and play online. So it, it's kind of sad. Uh, hopefully something happens. Otherwise, it just seems that we won't be playing those games. I mean, unless they fucking do something like release a physical copy of, uh, uh, let's say, Coliseum. They do shit like that, which is probably a long shot. But if they do it, hey, I'm on board. You, you've got my money. I'm all aboard that train. I'm all for it. But anyways, that's my little rant. I wanted to talk about this because I think it's important. Uh, immediately when I heard the news, I wanted to talk about this, but I just couldn't uh, make the video and upload it. I had other stuff to do. So I'm doing this now. It's not like this is a news channel anyway. Uh, it's just for my opinion. But hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Show this to your friends. Tell me what you guys think. I know a lot of people don't care. I know a lot of people are just annoyed for other reasons about this service. Uh, honestly, you can't really complain though. Uh, for only twenty dollars, it's just it's so cheap, man. It's practically for free uh, for online, and you get the games too, and they're going to be enhanced. It might just be worth it. It's just sad you won't have the virtual console. That's my only complaint, really. If they want to do the whole free games and uh, you know the pay online twenty bucks is fine. That that's fine. I'm just sad there's no virtual console. I'm not really, don't really all care that much about the online, to be honest. But that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe, with like, share with your friends. Several fun four. What's up?